Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do her top knot. I'm going to turn her around here a little bit if she'll let me without falling down. She's a little goofy about that. Now, I like to keep these ears out of the way, so pull them down and just gently hold them underneath her chin. And I keep my hand around her little muzzle. This is going to give you a really good handle to, to kind of move her around and do what you need to do when you're scissoring the top knot. So, basically, what you want to do is make sure you don't have any naps in it. What you want to do is scissor in front of the eyes first. Make this your first cut. And find the little eyeballs in there. You need to reflux a couple times and, and make it perfect. Uh, make sure you get all that out of there little eyeballs. Then, I'm going to fluff everything again. <laughs> She's a little silly there, isn't she? <laughs> okay. Fluff everything again. Then take your scissors and, and work your way around the edge. On top of the ear, be very careful. It's very easy to touch the ear when you're doing this. You're going to go right underneath like that and then clamp down on the ear and that's no good. So you want to make sure that you're above the ear when you make your snip. Very important, remember. Okay, get all the short stuff. Okay, then you got that. You're gonna take your scissors and go around the other side and do the same thing. On top of the ear, be real careful. I like to plug it again and make sure that I've got things where I want them. On the sides. Okay, now I'm going to comb everything back, back here. Take my scissors. and work my way around the back here. Okay. Now, one thing I like to do, sorry about that girl, it caught, didn't it? Well, you won't knock it over. Is I like to comb everything back. First of all, I need to take this off because I'm going to Okay, these ears pull down and under the chin, out of the way. And what I like to do is comb everything all the way back. And then comb everything all the way forward. And then fluff it up. This just gets everything where it needs to be. Okay? Now, you see she's really fluffy, so we're going to take some length off of it today to make her look right. Proportionate, I guess, is the word I was looking for there. So I'm going to try and take as little amount of strokes as possible. Because every stroke is going to show to some extent. You need to limit yourself on how many you take. Now, I'm not going for perfection at this moment. I'm going for trying to get everything the same roundabout length. And when I'm done with that, then I'll go back. Now I'll go back. Do the same thing over again. Come it all back. Come it all forward. And then flip it up. Okay. Now, I'll look at her. Head on, stand back a little bit, and I'll see immediately what needs to come off.
Just keep re-fluffing it as you go. She'll stay here for me. Stay, girl. Stay, Jojo. Stay. Stand up. Okay. So this is this is basically the finished product. I never did really show you this cut back here when I got it done. So you see now it looks like a little heart. Somewhat. <laughs> And it goes around the belly here on both sides. Makes a little band around her belly. And there's her tail. So there's Miss Jojo. Jojo bug. Is it all done? See if that's gonna way down, because I was gonna be going home soon and I know I'm done. So basically that is that is how you do a sweetheart pet trim. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Bye.